Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. I'm Moira Fuller and this month we're showing you how to make an embroidered lampshade. So with this kit we're showing you how to transfer and embroider a landscape onto a panel and then how to turn it into a lampshade using lampshade kit components. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Inside your kit you'll find your base fabric, fabric for the sea, land and flowers, embroidery thread and needle, sewing pins, template sheet, lampshade rings, your panel, double-sided tape and lampshade tool. The three design template sheets overlap each other. Line them up so the flowers match at each join and tape the joins with sellotape so you have one long template. Take out the large piece of natural cotton fabric and the blue strip. The blue strip is for the C and will be stitched along the entire base of the fabric. Position the C so it's neatly aligned with the cotton, then trim the excess at one end. Take the sandy coloured piece of fabric and align the edges of it face up underneath the left hand piece of land on the paper template. Pin it in place, then cut out the land and the fabric. Do the same with the template for the land on the right hand side of the panel, making sure the fabric is face up again. Place both pieces of land fabric onto the C. Roughly cut out the seagulls from the paper template, then pin them onto the sandy coloured fabric. Using the template, cut the seagulls out from the fabric. Do the same for the ruined castle, using the darker piece of fabric. Do the same for the flower pieces. Choose which colour of petals you'd like where, then cut the flower shapes out directly from the paper template, pin these to your colourful fabrics and cut out the petals. Position the petals onto the panel as you go. From your embroidery thread, cut off a one metre piece. The thread has six strands. Carefully pull out two, one at a time. Then thread your needle with the two strands, not the other end. We're hand sewing the panel, but feel free to use an embroidery machine. Sew the windows onto the ruined castle with a satin stitch, so long stitches right next to each other using the paper template as a guide for where to place them. Pin the land fabric to the sea and back in cotton and stitch through all three around the curve of the landscape using a running stitch. So this is where the thread goes in and out of the fabric, always moving forward. Sew small stitches around the ruined castle to hold it in place. Then sew another line of running stitches from the bottom left corner up to the top of the sea, about one centimetre in from the edge and another line of running stitches from the corner along the bottom of the land and across the sea, also about one centimetre in from the edge. Check the height of the fabric piece for the land on the right hand side to make sure it aligns with the land on the left and will do so one centimetre in from the edge. Then sew the other piece of land onto the right hand side corner exactly as you did before using the running stitch. Place the paper template onto the fabric and use the gaps in the template to position the flower pieces. Pin the flower pieces into place onto the backing fabric. Hold the template at the section where the stems for the flower meet, then lift the template paper and put a pin into that spot as a guide. Put another pin into the fabric where the stem meets the land so you know where to sew the stem from and to. Thread your needle with the full six strands of embroidery thread and sew the stock from the base up to the junction where the stems split off, then up to the petals. Use backstitch for this. For each petal, use two strands of embroidery thread and sew a running stitch line around the bottom curve of the petal to hold the fabric in place. Then sew three decorative lines of backstitch from the stem up. We'll now sew a lazy daisy stitch at the top of each line. Bring the needle up and sew back through the same hole, leaving a loop above the fabric. Sew up again about half a centimetre away, through the loop and back through the same hole as you've just come up through. Sew a line of small vertical stitches along the top of the seed to hold the fabric in place and give the sense of light glistening on the horizon. Stitch on the seagulls. These are held in place by the stitches for the wing feathers, tail feathers and a small stitch for the eye. Your embroidered piece should now look like this. Iron it on the back so it's fully flat and ready to be turned into a lampshade drum. 
unroll the PVC panel and stretch it out. It will be roughly the same size as your cotton fabric. On the back, peel away 10 centimetres of the stick at side. Then stick the panel down, smoothing it out from the middle up and down and gradually peeling away the rest of the backing. Use sharp scissors to trim the fabric around the panel so it's neatly aligned. Leave an extra half centimetre on fabric on the long side with the sea and land pieces. The lampshade PVC panel has two thin strips top and bottom. Fold these back to crack them, then peel away carefully, leaving the fabric backing behind. Decide how you want the lampshade to be used. If it's for a table lamp, the utility ring with the internal section will be on the bottom. If it's to be hung from a ceiling light, the utility ring will be on the top. Attach double-sided tape down the full height of one side of the panel. Choose the side you want to go on top of the other side once the panel is curved around. Peel off the red backing so the tape's tacky. Attach the double-sided tape to the outer ring of the lampshade utility ring. Apply it carefully so you don't get creases in the tape. Press the tape down so it wraps fully around the sides of the metal ring, then peel off the red backing so the metal ring is tacky. Repeat these steps for the lampshade ring for the other side of the lamp. Place your lampshade panel in front of you so the tacky end is facing away from you. You may want to place a book or something heavy towards that end to stop it curling around. Position the two rings either side of the panel at the edge of the PVC. Gradually roll both rings away from you, keeping them right next to the PVC panel. When you get to the halfway point, turn everything around so the tacky edge of the panel is near you and roll the rings towards you. When the two edges meet, lift up the outer edge and gently pull it over before sticking it down onto the fabric underneath. Look on the inside of the drum for where the two sides meet and place the drum down on the table. With the join flat down, press from the centre out to secure the sides together. On the side of the lampshade with utility ring, you'll see there are three metal arms reaching into the centre of the ring. Where each of these arms meets the outer ring, make a cut in the fabric. Gently pull the fabric up and over the tacky ring, then smooth it down. The cuts you've just made will allow the fabric to fold over neatly either side of the metal arms. Do the same on the other side of the shade, gently lifting the fabric up and over and securing it down over the tacky metal ring. Finally, use the side or tip of your white triangle tool to carefully push the fabric in under the ring to secure it in place. Well done, your lampshade's complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, subscribe to our channel or sign up to our newsletter to hear when the next one's released. And if you'd like the full step-by-step -step PDF of these instructions with the template for the landscape, you'll find the link to our Etsy shop just below.